fire is porcelain Dear God, why do people kill each other in your name? Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Cause it seems like religion can cause division Or people living in prisons of moral values that given Welcome to the man. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different and I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit heavier. And I say that because Ren's put out some songs that gave me questions about his stance on God and the Bible and spirituality in general. I personally put a lot of emphasis on spirituality because I believe in the Bible and the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. And I've experienced it in my own life. But even if you don't believe in the Bible, we can relate on some level of spiritual warfare, warfare that is unseen and seemingly unexplainable. And Ren hits on this pretty heavily in his song, Hi Ren, where he has a monologue between two characters. Now, my interpretation that it was a, it was a representation of God and Satan, but it could just be good and evil or maybe something different altogether. He says, some call me hope, which to me, hope is God. And then his other character, he says, I was created the dawn of time. I'm the snake in Eden, which if you know the Bible, you know that represents Satan. So if I misinterpret it, that's my fault. And some people certainly think that they said it in the comments, but the common theme was that I need to listen to dear God to get a better understanding of his stance on God. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Knowing Ren, this song is not going to be shallow. It's going to be deep and multi-layered. I'm going to do my best to dissect it, kind of grasp it and comprehend what he's saying, but I usually get stuff wrong on the first listen. So please bear with me and let's get into it. What score will dear God get from the man? Let's find out. Hello. Uh, it's Ren. I don't really know how to start this letter. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> Is this life really what it seems? Cause lately I've been in this place between awake and dreams I know I only reach out to you when I'm feeling blue I promise I'm not using you, I'm just confused I've got some questions I would like some answers to Like is there meaning to this state of short existence? My existential thoughts, you'll hope there are cause I'm resistant To thinking that there won't be something better in the distance And God, is there an afterlife where pain is non-existent? If you're up there God, do you sit upon a throne? Or are you a humble soul wearing sandals and tattered clothes? Do you mingle with the people like an equal then on Sunday? Days, just kick back and chill and put your feet up Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? I won't lie to you God if there is a heaven I really hope I get there cause for real it sounds like heaven You know we all have these exact same questions I don't think anybody is different in that It's very human to question things you, you can't really see or don't fully understand If you think about the purest form of a human you might think of a little kid and if you tell a little kid to do something completely logical, like clean their room or eat their vegetables, which makes perfect sense to you, what are they going to do? They're going to question you. Why, mama? Why? That sounded like a demon, baby. But they're going to question you because they don't have enough faith to just trust in the things they don't see. And I don't think we're that different as adults. I think we question the same things. We question things we can't really see. Heck, I'm still drinking out of a sippy cup, so... Anyway, I think it's very human to question the unseen, and I think God actually might invite it because it means that we're alive. Reading past the lines, I just let go. Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin. So many questions in my mind, they replay like an echo. They never stop my Messiah is poor. Dear God, why do people kill each other in your name? Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Cause it seems like religion can cause division or people living in prisons of moral values that given. What is right and what people are living in prisons of moral values they're given. And before that he says re religion can cause division. Now religion is an absolute poison. I gotta make that clear, because the God of the Bible actually rebukes religion. He rebukes the, the religious. Religion, to me, is a, a man-made construct for people to feel better, or more righteous, or, or more fulfilled. It's not actually what we're called to do. We're just called to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm not religious, but I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's whenever you have religions killing in the, the name of their Messiah, or the name of their Savior. Because it's made by man, not by God. So you have to understand there's a big difference between the God of the Bible and then these other thousands of religions. Where the God of the Bible just simply asks you to have a relationship, not follow a religion. 
forgiven What is right and what is wrong? Am I a sinner if I don't comply with everything that Moses said or is that dumb? And why do people disguise hatred in your name? Homophobia, a history of violent wars and causing pain High priests in the tower stacking riches Women burnt at the stakes called witches In the name of God, Allah, Zeus, Jesus People claiming lives justified by your allegiance We've talked about this with money you typically can follow a money trail straight to corruption. Now, I don't want to call the people out, but I'm just going to say, they talk about the priests, the prophets. A lot of times it's referring to some Catholicism. Where is the money a lot of times? It's in the Catholic Church. And I can understand why people would follow the Catholic Church. But, you got to understand... That's where all the money's at. There is a, a ton of corruption within the Catholic Church. And it's sad because then we get compared, just Christians get compared to the Catholic Crusaders. And it really has nothing to do with what God asks us to do. It's way beyond the actual calling of a Christian or a follower of Jesus Christ. So that's religion, not a relationship. Defied by your allegiance. I think it's more complex than good versus evil. I think that there's both darkness and light inside people. Through different eyes, a man called a terrorist could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with. Reading past the line, I just let go. Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin. So many questions. I, I want to say, I know I pause it. God never asks people to kill in his name. So, if anyone's killing in the name of their God, that is a false God. You have to understand. God of the Bible has never asked anybody to kill in his name. Those are not freedom fighters. They are terrorists. No religion that asks their followers to kill in the name of their religion can be a good religion. Because murder is obviously inherently wrong and we all can agree on that. So, make that clear. That's, that's the separation that needs to be done. Is The freedom fighters of the Christianity, they're not really following the God of the Bible. They're following their own thing or their own man-made construct. Understand that. In my mind, they replay like an echo. They never stop my messiah is porcelain. So is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want? And if I fast for the Sabbath, is that what you want? Or is tradition just superstition, religion, the human vision just crafted out of people's ambition? Listen, I knew a girl that lost a baby before it was born. What's the purpose of that God? What is it for? Why did my best friends die before I hit 25? Is it cause there is something better in the afterlife? God, I've been feeling suicidal lately. Mental health is worsening, it feels like it might break me. If you're watching, you know that I've been strong. But God, how much longer do I have to hold on? Please just give me some solace So that I know you've got my back Please just give me some relief God, is that too much to ask? That was Dear God by Ren And, you know, at the end there he's asking questions that I think a lot of people ask He had friends that died before they turned 25 He knew a girl who lost her baby before it was born And if you've experienced great loss, then you can easily ask these questions. How can a loving and sovereign God allow such terrible, wicked things to happen? It's a very understandable question to ask. But what I think people don't fully understand about God is they think he's an orchestrator or a puppet master behind the scenes forcing things to happen. And that's not God. You know, God created mankind, set the world in motion, and in the beginning, he created a perfect place. We turn to wickedness. Mankind turned to wickedness. We're accountable for the wickedness in this world. And I, I think, I, th I know I'm going to lose pe uh, followers in this. I know I'm going to get people that click off this video and disagree with me. And that's fine. We're not going to all agree on everything. But it's very important for people to understand the true nature of God. Something I want people to understand if you're still watching, and I hope you are, is that we have a serious religion problem. The world is full of self-righteous, hypocritical vipers. Wolves dressed up in sheep's clothing, using the name of God to justify their hate, greed, and even murder. Using it to gain money, power, and fame. It's so off-putting. I just watched this televangelist, and you may have seen this clip. He's sitting there taking, you know, tithe and offering or pledge drive, and he says, 
Jesus is convicting me that you ought to give a thousand dollar pledge today. You say, Pastor, I can only afford $25. Are you telling God you don't have enough faith to give him your first fruits? That's not God. That's mankind's wickedness, and it's so off-putting that people will throw away the entire idea of God and spirituality because of that. What I advise you to do is just to ignore all the noise. Throw away all the noise. These, these books. And just seek a personal relationship with God. Ignore man. Ignore me. Just seek truth by yourself. Seek him and you will find it. And also, don't give the televangelist a thousand dollars. I tell you what. I'm behind on my three white BMW payments. And how am I going to pay for that diving board in my 100,000 gallon pool? What score does Dear God get from the man? Well, I love the subject material. The writing and the vocals are really good. Um, I think he's going to get penalized again because of how good his other music is. And that's completely unfair. I understand that. I just can't give this the same score as some of his other music that have been absolute masterpieces. And somebody suggested that we give Ren an 11 scale, which would be completely fair. That way I could put those into an 11 and still give out 10s without feeling so bad. But I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for another solid song from Ren. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're still watching, I just want to say a special thank you because you sat there and listened to me talk about my opinion, what I think, and what I care about. And maybe that's not what you bargained for, but I appreciate you sticking with me. And because of that, I'm going to reward you with two really good songs. Okay, so this one's more topical, and it's just Charlie Crockett. I love Charlie Crockett. This song's called Saturday Satan, Sunday Saint. And you probably can't even see that. Come on. Nope. Saturday Satan, Sunday Saint by Charlie Crockett. That's a really good song, but it's topical, and you might not like it because it's kind of a, kind of a country kind of song. The other one is Louis Capaldi just released a new album, and I like him quite, quite a bit. It's called Heavenly Kind of State of Mind. Heavenly Kind of State of Mind by Louis Capaldi. And it is not focusing, but it's called Heavenly Kind of State of Mind by Louis Capaldi. Check out those songs. Tell me what you think. They're both fantastic. Thank you for watching the man.